Hello Taurus, it's Milady from Milady's Way Tarot, and I'm coming to do your weekly love reading for the week of October 30th through the 6th, 2017. The cards I'm using today are Oracle of the Mermaid cards by Lucy Cavendish, and I close off with my Miss Cleo cards. I like to read those straight off the book to ensure you get your full message. I want to thank everybody for like, share, and subscribing, and setting up personal readings with me. If you like a personal reading, check in the description box below. Email me and we can set something up. Other than that, let's get this show on the road. All right, what's going on with the Taurus, Taurus, Taurus? Taurus, love reading, Taurus, love reading, Taurus, love reading. 10, 30 through 11, 6, 2017. Taurus, Taurus, Taurus. Okay. All right, so there could be two different things, but I need more cards because this could be like a sharing of passion back and forth. It could also mean somebody is draining the energy out of you. So let's keep it, keep it moving. All right, so it seems like somebody's trying not to see things for what they are. They're not trying to see their um, part in the situation. Let's see what the situation is. Wow. Okay, let's see what this um, emotionally draining card is. All right. Sorry, that doesn't matter. All right, what is this emotionally draining card? What is this emotional card for the Taurus, Taurus, Taurus? Okay. Whew. So, it is the emotionally draining card. So, it seems like somebody wants, uh, maybe you want somebody, somebody wants you. Anyway, it's a general reading. But somebody wants the other person to make some kind of sacrifice. And I feel like this could be going against you. You, This person not realizing how big this sacrifice they want you to make is. But they keep telling you to do it over and over. And it's like emotionally draining. But I see you really care for this person. And you you might possibly make whatever this sacrifice is. You know? Alright, what's going on with the Taurus, Taurus, Taurus? All right, so it seems like this person, wow, okay, this is, I'm going to read it like I read them, but this is you. It seems like you're a person who used to getting what you want, and um, you used to things going your way, but I feel like you may make this sacrifice for this person. You might really, really care about this person, but this person doesn't see how big this sacrifice is for you. Okay. Mm. Wow. Okay. So it seems like in this sacrifice that you make, it seems like this person telling you if you don't do this, that they're going to leave. If you don't do this, I can't take any more. So they want you to give up something that you're doing. And if you don't give it up, they're telling you they're going to leave. But they're not looking at they part of the situation. Or they might just start looking at the situation for what it is. All right? But it's basically like they're trying to tell you to do something. All right. It seems like you feel like you really don't have to listen to this person, but you are now. You know, even though you are you may be sarcastic and arrogant and sort of full of yourself, it's like this person telling you this and this and this, you believe that they're going to leave you if you don't stop doing whatever this situation is. But you, I feel like you might have postponed it for a long time because you like, I'm helping you out. I'm helping you out. So you need to do what I tell you to do, which is that card there. But it's just like, they don't care if you're helping them out or nothing. They want you to get rid of whatever this is, okay? Yep. Okay, so this probably already happened. I, they probably left you. 
And now you're like, okay, I'll do it. You know, it brought you back down to reality. Like you're not as great as you think you are. Okay. So you didn't think they was going to leave. They left or they getting ready to leave. Like no matter what you do for me, I want to be treated a certain way. Okay. So this little, yeah, it was some kind of power struggle going on here. And it seems like you might have won, but it seems like this person, you being such a, um, a-hole, or this could be either way around. This could be somebody doing this to you that the person that you was dealing with start becoming unattractive to you. And this could be somebody you work with too. So this could be like you dealing with somebody at work. You could be their boss. They could be your boss. Y'all could be co-workers, but I feel like it was some kind of power struggle going on. But that just is all up in here too. It's just like, I'm telling you to do something. You need to sacrifice something. And the other person like, no, because I pay your bills. So you need to do what I tell you. So that just could be that power card over there. But now, uh, Cleo cards, I read these straight out the book to ensure you get your full message. All right. So look at that already. Oh, so there are some secrets getting ready to come out. That's going to transform the whole relationship. It's going to transfer. And it might even end it, okay? If it's not already ended. All right, let's go. What's going on with the Taurus? Taurus, Taurus. Taurus love reading October 30th through November 6th. October 30th through November 6th, 2017. All right, so somebody's giving up some false love offers. Mm-mm. All right, the Wheel of Fortune is definitely going down. So it's not in your favor right now, Taurus. All right, so it seems like somebody is not taking time to work on their home. Somebody is fed up, full of it. That's this. Somebody, somebody is sick of it. All right, yeah, so this is the choice that you have to make or your partner have to make. Like, do you want your home or your work or whatever the sacrifice is? All right, so it seems like somebody just basically got some choices to make. You know, are you going to try to defend your home? Are you going to try to defend your dreams? Or are you going to try to defend the money or the sacrifice or whatever the other situation is? Wow. Okay, so it seems like um, somebody going to have to di agree to disagree here for things to work out, but let me read the cards here. All right, so we got the Ten of Cups. The Ten of Cups, Ten of Cups is reversed, and it says, Smiling faces, actions that do not match wor words spoken, a warning to pay close attention. So it's basically like, hmm... Somebody, you may be trying to, like, sneak one over. Over on the person that you're dealing with. Like, hey, yeah, I'll give you what you want here. You know, just come back. But I feel like you're really not sure if you're going to make this change or make this sacrifice. All right, so we got the two of coins. And it says, be careful in any papers you may sign. Make sure that you understand that offer is extended to you. So it definitely seemed like some trickery here. So maybe somebody getting ready to move in together, house, apartment, whatever, maybe get a car together, and they like, I'm not giving you this car or giving you whatever this uh, thing is, or I'm not uh, selling whatever this thing is until you do a certain thing, and somebody's saying they're going to do it, and they ain't. That's what I'm seeing here, okay? They are not. Okay, so the staff. All right, staff, seven of staffs. It says, keep your strengths and beliefs even though others may challenge you. You're right. Even though you may be outnumbered, you will win. So it's like whatever side that you on, whatever you got your mindset, this is for the Taurus. Whatever you are going for is the right thing. So even if you are the one like, okay, well, I'm not going to put my name on this 
or I'm not going to not put my name on this. Whatever you thinking right now is what you should be doing. That's what I'm feeling like when I see this card. So it's like you already got the right mind. I don't think the person that you're dealing with going to agree with it, but you're doing the right thing. Okay. All right, so we got the Two of Cups reversed, and it says, um, this card is a card of union of two people coming together at a time of understanding between the two. So this is agree to disagree, you know? That's what I'm feeling here. But that's all I got for you guys. Make sure to check your Sun, Moon, and Rising signs. If you want a personal reading, check in the description box below. Email me, and we can set something up. Other than that, have a wonderful week.